Hey guys, how's it going? Alex K here. Welcome to this week's Sub Tokyo lesson, lesson 10. Alright, in this week's segment, we're going to do something a little bit different. I've gotten a couple of requests for doing a tutorial on how to set up your computer so that you can type in Japanese. Uh, I learned this myself since I own computers that I bought in America, which do not have a Japanese keyboard by default. But setting it up is super easy, and I will show you how to do so now. Um, just one thing, keep in mind that this is a Windows Vista PC tutorial. Sorry for Mac users. Um, if I get the chance, I may do one for you guys in the future. Um, now before we begin, I want to tell you that I actually changed and took away my Japanese keyboard feature so that I can show you how to put it in and install it. So the first thing we want to do is go into the control panel. So let's do that. Go into control panel. And uh, from here, what we want to go into is the regional and language options, which is this globe and clock thing. So let's double click that. It takes you to this window called regional and language options. Um, here you want to go into the third tab from the left, which is keyboard and languages. And here there's a button that says change keyboards. Um, now don't be afraid to click this because um, by hitting so, um, you're allowed to have more than one language on a keyboard and this isn't going to change your entire computer settings to Japanese or anything. Um, you'll just be adding a Japanese keyboard feature. Alright, so let's click that. Now clicking this brings you here, text services and input languages. Um, so if you're like me and you type in English and you're from the States, it might look like this. Um, so what we want to do is click this add button on the right. And it pops up this add input language box, which has a huge list of languages. Um, and by doing this process, you can actually add any kind of language that you want, not just Japanese. Um, but well, we're here for Japanese, so let's scroll down and find Japanese. Nihongo, Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Here we are. Okay, so once you find it, you want to click this uh, plus box until you get these check boxes that are unchecked. Um, here you want to check the Japanese box and also the Microsoft IME box. Um, this is the Microsoft Input Method Editor. Um, supposedly it allows you to type in Japanese in documents and on all sorts of places. So check those two. Um, and this top one might not even be on your computer. I think this is an extra software my family added. So pay no mind to that one. So once you're done, just click OK. Um, you can hit apply or OK, but we either one's fine, so I'm going to hit OK. And that's pretty much it, actually. And um, so, did anything change? Um, actually, yes. Uh, oh, I forgot to go over. Uh, I did this again. Okay, so um, in the country, um, to show you this, I have to go back into this. Um, here, um, the second tab is called Language Bar, uh, which is a pretty uh, handy tool for us that us people that use um, multiple languages so here you can have it um, floating on desktop docked on the taskbar or hidden although I don't suggest you hide it because um, you're gonna be using it if you're gonna be typing in Japanese so either have it floating on desktop or docked in the taskbar um, I like it like to have it in my taskbar because if it's floating on the desktop I have to easily look to see where it is um, but if we I'm gonna go ahead and close this if you look on the taskbar, um, it might be anywhere, but mine's is right here. You see this um, EN, um, which shows that it's an English language um, keyboard right now. And by clicking it, you could switch to Japanese. And now it's in the Japanese keyboard mode, and that's about it. With this, you can actually start typing in Japanese right away. Alrighty, now that we've um, completed our setup of how to install the Japanese keyboard. I'm going to go over how to type in Japanese and um, let's do that now. So as I said by going to the language bar right here and going to, into Japanese we're able to switch to Japanese mode and type in Japanese. Um, but usually it would default to this half with alphanumeric. When it's like that it just types in regular um, English words or Roma, Roma G, Roman letters. Um, in order to type in Japanese, you want to go into hiragana or katakana mode, but I suggest hiragana since most of 
our um, hiragana. And um, actually, before doing this, I want to make sure that we understand. Um, when you're typing in Japanese, you have to remember how things are actually spelled in Japanese. For example, for Tokyo, um, in English we write Tokyo like that. Um, but you have to actually spell out each hiragana. So it's to u kyo u. And this is how you would spell Tokyo in Japanese. So right now we're in um, the half width alphanumeric mode. Let's go into hiragana mode and type the same, um, the same four hiragana out. Actually, it's five because of kyo. But anyways, I'm going to type in to, and you see it automatically becomes hiragana. To, u, kyo, and then u. And there you have it. Tokyo is typed out in hiragana. And um, in order to change this to kanji, all you do have to do is hit the space bar and it becomes kanji. Um, if you hit it again, it gives you another option. Um, well, for Tokyo, there's only one kanji option since there's no other way to write Tokyo. Um, but here we are. It gives you your hiragana and katakana as well. Um, let's try something else out. How about uh, Japan or Nippon or Nihon? Nihon, um, another thing um, that's cool to keep in mind, if you start out with a capital letter, then it automatically just keeps uh, typing in Roman letters or English. So if I start with a capital N, it just keeps typing like that. Um, but this is how you spell Nihon, um, same for Japanese, but it becomes split like this, Nihon, like that. So on the next line, I'm going to actually type in Japanese. So here we go, Ni, that becomes Ni, Ho, and N. For N, you need two Ns, so Nihon. And by hitting the spacebar again, it becomes the kanji. And for um, Nihon, there's actually different ways to read Nihon. Um, the second one is Nihon, which means two of something. Um, and yeah, so it gives you your different options for kanji, and um, well, ni is two also. So yeah, something like this. And it's pretty fun to play around with this. Um, and it's a good way to practice your Japanese. Let's try something else. How about numbers and start with one or ichi so ichi would be type oh suddenly became small uh, is it 16 i don't know bold i don't know okay so ichi is this typed out like this so let's try that e oh for some reason it went back to half with alphanumeric let's go back to hiragana ichi there we go by hitting spacebar it gives you Ichi or the kanji for one, and same as to, uh, what was it Nihon, it gives you your other options of um, other kanji that read Ichi, and also hiragana and katakana as well. Um, let's get rid of these and try just a few more before we end this uh, lesson. Um, how about everyone's favorite manga? Now manga is spelled ma. -n Ga. So let's type this out. Ma, n, ga. I guess I should put two ends here. And um, if you uh, hit your arrow keys while typing, it just stops. Um, so I'm gonna erase this and retype that. Ma, n, ga. Now here I can t hit spacebar, and this is the kanji for manga. Hey, there's your kanji for this lesson. Manga, and. Um, here are your other options for other kanji. Um, you don't really make sense. But here's manga in kanji, manga in katakana, and some other reads for manga. And of course, your hiragana. And um, how about let's try ani, anime. And that automatically becomes katakana because anime is, you know, short for anime or animation. And that only has anime and anime in hiragana and katakana. Alright, so that's really all I have to show you for today. Um, try doing so, installing the Japanese keyboard and play around with it. And it's a really, really good way to practice um, reading and typing out Japanese. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, 
be sure to hit subscribe and leave comments and suggestions below on what else you like you would like to see on future sub tokyo episodes please follow us on oh i want to do this um hold on let me say that again please subscribe on my uh sa sabusukuraibu subscribe oh that came out weird all right whatever please subscribe and uh, make sure to leave comments and suggestions below. Uh, follow us, as you know, on Facebook and Twitter at Subtokyo. Whoops, no space. Vlog. Ugh, vlog. And make sure to check out Subtokyo. I cannot type today. <laughs> Subtokyo dot blogspot.com this is our blog all right thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye